Eyes up, Guardian. Bungie and Activision just unveiled the future of Destiny, and I haven't been this excited since the loot caves. Welcome to an exclusive Destiny edition of The Nerf Report. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. This week, Bungie and Activision invited the most dedicated and notable players of the Destiny franchise to Los Angeles for the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal. The event was live streamed on Bungie's Twitch channel for an audience of 400,000 viewers. What I would give for those numbers. The one-hour event showcased the culmination of Bungie's vision for Destiny 2, along with showing the promising future that the franchise has. During the live-streamed event, Bungie unveiled solo gameplay, crucible updates, new weapons, new supers, and an unbelievable amount of badass gameplay. Bungie went ahead and shared gameplay from the very first mission of the game, titled Homecoming. And let me tell you, Homecoming pulls zero punches. We begin with the brief introductions of our main characters from the last game. Commander Zavala, Cade, and Ikora Ray are all found in the Hall of Guardians. When all of a sudden, systems go awry. Zavala seems to believe that something is up, and that's when we realize Earth is actually under attack. The attack is being led by none other than Dominus Gaul, the leader of the Cabal's Red Legion. He has come to Earth to prove to the Traveler that he chose the wrong race. You see, Dominus Gaul believes that he deserves the power and the light of the Traveler, and that humanity, well, we're just standing in his way. The gameplay footage actually shows the greatest destiny battle of all time. You see, the tower is under attack, and we are overrun by Cabal enemies. We have to join forces with Zavala, Cade, and Ikora Ray, and actually defend our home. We see footage of us invading Cabal skiffs jumping from ship to ship and destroying our enemies, but we also see the evolution of the Cabal as an enemy, and we see the true threat of the Red Legion. By the end of the battle, the tower has fallen, the Guardians no longer have light, Ikora Ray is missing, and we are defeated. Destiny 2 as a game opens with loss. In one moment, Guardians lose their light, their powers, their home, their loot. R.I.P. Hawkman. Throughout the story, players must explore the galaxy, reclaim their connection to the Traveler, rebuild the Vanguard, all the while kicking ass and taking names. Bungie also announced that every player will be given a fresh start, a new campaign, a new story missions, quests, adventures, dungeons, four new worlds, cooperative strikes, nightfalls, and a brand new raid. I mean, what else could you possibly want from a game? What about all my weapons and armors from the first game? Great question. Destiny 2 will have brand new weapons, brand new armor, and a crap ton of exotics. The Destiny weapon system has received a design overhaul as well. Players will now have access to kinetic, power, and energy weapons. Power weapons include fusion rifles, grenade launchers, sniper rifles, maybe even a Galahorn. Whereas kinetic and energy can be whatever combination you want to make. There's no boundaries. You want two pistols? Get at it. You want two shotguns? Go ahead. You want to storm the European dead zone with two assault rifles? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Guardian supers will also be redesigned. Warlocks will have access to the Dawn Blade, which will launch the player into the air with a fiery solar sword, raining hellfire on the enemies below. Titans will summon a Void Shield under the Sentinel class, where they can actually throw their shield and knock the crap out of their enemies. And Hunters are able to summon a mystical staff called the Arc Strider, where they're able to beat the crap out of any member of the Red Legion while, quite frankly, looking like a complete badass. Players will have access to new planets filled with mystery, new characters, and adventure. In fact, Guardians start their journey off in the European Dead Zone. Yes, the map only found in the original game as a PvP Crucible map is now available as a fully playable map. Thank you, Destiny. The European Dead Zone is where humanity has fled to after the attack of the tower, and what Bungie is claiming as the largest playable area that they have ever built. Guardians will also explore Titan, the moon of Saturn. Titan is an oceanic planet with methane seas and 40 meter tall waves. 
Savala actually flees to Titan after the attack in order to rebuild his mind and focus on coming back as a stronger Guardian. Guardians will also explore Nessus, which is a Vex stronghold and quite possibly the most beautiful mixture of machine and nature I've ever seen in the game. Guardians must explore Nessus to rescue Cade from the Vex. And finally, Io, the sulfuric moon of Jupiter. Io is actually kind of cool. Uh, Io is the last place the Traveler touched before the Collapse, making it kind of a, a holy land for Guardians. Uh, most importantly, Warlocks have actually fled to this place to look for answers and ways to reclaim their light. Players looking for something a little more competitive can rest at ease knowing that the Crucible is coming back! Crucible will now feature 4v4 player combat across all all modes. And in a new feature, a player HUD will actually alert players to their opponent's super and ammo. Bungie pulled the curtain back and unveiled a brand new game mode. Countdown, which is an attack and defend mode, is actually the first confirmed PvP match available for Destiny 2. We can only hope that Rift, Control, and Trials is all coming back. Personally, as long as Rift comes back, you're not going to hear too many complaints on the Crucible from me. I want to arc stride the fuck out of Rift. Destiny 2 will be launching a public beta this summer with the complete game releasing September 8th, 2017 on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, personally, I cannot wait for Destiny 2, and I think that they just reinvigorated this community to the thousandth percentile. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what did you think of the press conference? Is Destiny 2 way too overhyped? Uh, are they going to let us down again? Are there going to be loot caves? What the crap is a dungeon? What weapons do you hope come back? Uh, are you chomping at the bits to kick Dominus Gaul right in his face as much as I am? Thank you for watching this special Destiny edition of the Nerf Report. If you're interested in gaming or Destiny related news, make sure to hit our subscribe button up top. It helps the community, but more importantly, share it with your friends. My name is Brian Chappelle. I will see you next time on the Nerf Report. Are you listening? Damn. Oh my god, how could I forget? Shout out to my fellow hunters. Long live the master race. Yeah. Uh.